Welcome back, dear viewers, to English Horror Stories. I'm Sarah Alex, and today, we have a chilling treat for you. Before we dive into the abyss, hit subscribe and the notification bell, so you never miss our terrifying tales. Support the channel below. Now, brace yourselves for a nightmarish journey into English Horror Stories. The title of story is Midnight Carnival Nightmare. Terrifying audible horror story, scary tales and spine-chilling narration. In the heart of a small, unsuspecting town, a peculiar legend was whispered among the residents. They spoke of the Midnight Carnival, an event that materialized mysteriously when the clock struck midnight, only to disappear into thin air by the break of dawn. This carnival was no ordinary affair, it was said to be a portal to a nightmare dimension. One fateful Friday night, a group of audacious teens, led by a curious young man named Tim, gathered to test the eerie legend. Tim was known for his fearlessness, his desire to unravel the unknown. As the clock tower chimed twelve, they approached the supposed location of the midnight carnival. The air grew chilly, and a blanket of darkness enveloped the surroundings as they approached the outskirts of the town. The faint sound of a calliope and flickering lights pierced the quietude of the night. The midnight carnival had appeared. Despite a shiver crawling down his spine, Tim led his friends towards the enigmatic carnival. They ventured through the creaking gates, their anticipation mingled with trepidation. The carnival seemed eerily deserted, yet an unnerving ambience loomed, as if invisible eyes were scrutinizing their every move. As they explored, they stumbled upon a tent unlike the others. It was weathered, with faded symbols adorning its fabric. Intrigued, they decided to venture inside. A sudden gust of wind billowed through the tent as they crossed the threshold. Before them stood a fortune teller, Madame Leota, surrounded by flickering candles and a heavy air of foreboding. The flickering shadows cast a chilling dance on the tent walls. They hesitated but sat down, spellbound by the haunting aura. Madame Leota beckoned Tim forward and began to peer into her crystal ball. A vision of darkness and despair flashed before her eyes. She spoke in a hushed, foreboding tone, revealing that the carnival was indeed a portal to a nightmare dimension. Panic set in as they realized they were trapped within this realm. The group gathered their courage, understanding that they needed to confront their fears to escape. Each faced their own personal horrors, monsters from the depths of their minds. Tim was gripped by the fear of abandonment, a fear that had haunted him since childhood. With the clock ticking and their hearts racing, they faced their fears head on. Slowly, the carnival began to tremble, and the grip of the nightmare dimension weakened. As dawn approached, the carnival faded away, releasing them from its clutches. They found themselves back at the entrance just as the sun began to rise, the nightmare finally over. The experience left them shaken, forever altering their perception of reality. They realized that the boundary between dreams and nightmares is as delicate as the line between day and night, an eternal reminder of the mysteries that lurk in the shadows, waiting to be unveiled. That was Spine Tingling. If you survived this horror journey, thumbs up and share your thoughts below. For more hair-raising stories, subscribe and hit the bell. More bone-chilling content coming soon.